Hey guys, what is up? Carter here. Man, uh, <laughs> did not have the best time tonight dealing with this uh, American lawman. Uh, Stonewashing did not go well. Sharpening did not go well. And I guess that's it. My stonewasher shit the bed. Um, and it actually did it the last time I used it on the holdout. And it's one of those things where I knew it wasn't working right. And yet, um, for some reason, I, I wouldn't quite acknowledge it, but the clues were there. And so now, doing this one, I completely realize now that it was effed and it's not working right. It does technically turn on and it does vibrate, but it's vibrating very, very low. Uh, well, actually, I mean, basically all it's doing is just vibrating. You know what I mean? Like, you turn it on. Well, and when you first turn it on, it'll like, you know, bzzz, it'll go crazy, but then one second later it goes bzzz, you know, and the rocks are just kind of dense. Sorry, my hands are all dirty. I literally just finished this up. And it'll start like, and that's it. And, you know, what I kept noticing is when I check on it, the blade would be all the way at the bottom of the thing. And uh, I could just, you know, I was just getting the impression that the blade was just sinking to the bottom. And it was just kind of skidding on one side. And especially with this one, uh, it was definitely stonewashing one side more than the other side. And I noticed with my holdout, after I finished it and took it out, I noticed that one side was more stonewashed than the other. This side is quite a bit better. You might be able to see it there. See how it's kind of got all those nice gleams? And this side just has a lot less. But, I mean, if you compare it to my first stonewashing, I mean, look at that. That is pretty damn gorgeous. And I never ran into a problem with this one where I'd look in there and it was upside down or whatever. So I think my something's up with the stone washer. It wasn't working right. And uh, so eventually I took it apart and uh, God, I'm so pissed off. I took it apart and just used the container and just hand did it. And that's where I got where I'm at here. Cause see all these nice little stone wash marks? None of that was there until I started doing it by hand. None of that was there. This was all just like smooth. It almost looked bead blasted. This side is all effed up. See those dark marks there? That's actually where pieces of, well, so you saw that one video where I started scraping it off, right? And I was contemplating scraping off all of the finish before I started stone washing. So I pretty much got all this side off. And then I got most of this side, except for a few little flecks here and there. And that's what all that dark crap is. Um, and then I threw it in the stone washer thinking, well, it'll easily take that off. But because of the problems the stone washer is having, it did not easily take that off. And so eventually towards the end when I got frustrated, I just took it out. I finished uh, manually scraping it off, which then re-exposed those pieces. And then... Uh, put it back in that's when I really you know I really discovered that you know it wasn't working right so then I did it by hand and I was just so sick of the whole thing by that that point that uh, I just called it quits and so I've got all these crappy dark marks on this side like cold steel down in there it's still got little flecks of paint it looks like crap underneath the clip I took the time to hand scrape all this off, but underneath the clip, it's kind of half on, half off. You can see the back lock, like on the parts you can't see, it, like right there, you can see right there, it uh, still has that paint. And, you know, everyone complains about how that finish comes off so easy, but when you're trying to scrape it off with a screwdriver, you're going to have a completely different opinion. I mean, on one hand, it does come off, I mean, it does, it flakes off, but on the other hand, it's a pain in the ass and it kills your hands because you're like the best way to do it is to put your finger on the screwdriver whatever you're using and just go like that 
and you know you'll hit some flat spots where it'll just like scrape right off and you're like oh yeah that's awesome but you know this is hollow ground and so you know you were just constantly you know all this is all just curved and so you're constantly just like taking off these little scratches and it just wouldn't come off and yeah it sucks stupid stone washer yeah I wouldn't recommend getting one of those maybe a tumbler is the way to go or get you know a professional piece of equipment all I know is I think I am out of the amateur pimp job business um, I'm gonna leave that up to tough thumbs if I need stuff done cuz yeah I'm I'm not gonna invest in the type of equipment I need to do this stuff right and uh, that little Harbor Freight piece of junk just it isn't strong enough you know like, like I mentioned before when I was doing it by hand, I was taking that whole container and just like shaking the crap out of it. And that's how you get like these nice lines and all that stuff. You know, you can't just vibrate that in. You've got to really hammer it. So, I mean, you need like a big drum that spins. And so everything just like falls and hits. And, you know, you got to do shit like that. You can't do a little vibrator. Vibrator won't do it. Um, I'm going to hit up Jay Davis, John, and see if he's having any troubles. Um, you know, I was never really all that happy with this stone wash, especially since there was a stone wash on top of a stone wash. Now that I look at it, this one almost looks uneven too. Like this side looks a little better than this one. Kind of like it, you know, fell on that side on the bottom. And But on a side note, I really like this knife. Um, Cold Steel, Andrew, Lynn, please, please give us a goddamn non-coated American Lawman. Seriously, please. This is ridiculous. So many people hate that coating. Stop using it. Do something else. At least offer it in satin or stonewash. And uh, as you saw in that video, it's got a it's got a nice, somewhat funky but nice stonewash right underneath the uh, the coating you know it's such a shame I'm spending all this effort and time to take the coating off when all they need to do is just skip that extra process but uh, I'll be doing kind of a, a more of a review on this knife I, I really like it um, it's pretty nice I would recommend if you don't like the coating I think you know, the only way you're getting it off is by hand scraping. So I'd definitely be prepared for a lot of scraping. And uh, maybe try to think of some uh, things you can rig up. You know, maybe a vise or something. Uh, the blade actually isn't the hardest part. It's like the clip because you're trying to scrape it and there's nothing to hold on to. And it's got all these different contours going on. Uh, it's just pretty freaking crazy trying to do that. Man, I'm so pissed that that stone washer, it got me one, one good stone wash before it capooted. I mean, this one's pretty crappy. Just a crappy stone washer. And when you do it by hand, too, I mean, it blows your eardrums out. It's so loud. I wouldn't recommend that process either. You know, so... Yeah, so a pretty crappy night. I was super excited about basically making myself a homemade 8010 Andrew Demko Demko 8010 homemade style, closest thing you'd really get without getting one. And I mean, I did more or less, but it just was a lot more hassle and it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. Still got a lot of things that I don't really like. And I wish I would have uh, taken that coating completely off of the blade. Yep. Alright guys, that's it. That's I've talked enough. It's depressing. Alright guys, take it easy.